I'm with Margate manager Rhys Prestige after he sides 1 1 draw here from Belvedere. Rhys, we saw a much changed lineup. Did the move of 24 hours because of the waterlogged pitch yesterday sort of inconvenience preparations for tonight? Uh, yeah, um, we had to change a lot about it. We have to give players less minutes because you don't want to go into Saturday with people getting 60s and 90s sort of thing. Um, but it's just part and parcel things like that happen in football and you, you, I think it's better to get a run out tonight than it was to, to train. So uh, we had a good insight to, what, to today's performance um, and we know what to work on. Having said that, credit goes to Irif for obviously managing to get the game tonight. Yeah. Um, and your team actually that started put on a very good first half performance, didn't they? You must have been pleased with what you saw from what some would perceive as sort of fringe players heading into the start of the season. Yeah, I think um, that, like the first half we're going to be tough. Well, we don't play on grass, so this is why we really wanted this game to be on today as well. Because I think it's the second game we've got home church, which will be on grass. Um, and I think we, well, you need that to try and see how we adapt to it. Um, and I think yeah, like for, they had very good spells in the first half, but we dealt with it very well. Um, when one nil up, and, and sort of at that time, I thought we was on top of the game. So yeah, but pleasing first half. And people might look at it and think, oh, Margate only scored a penalty, but actually the work. Uh, leading up to the penalty was really nice play wasn't it and you saw Mo Cham obviously cut in and, and get fouled for the penalty he impressed tonight didn't he Mo obviously someone that you've mentioned after signing um, he'll have a part to play won't he this season oh yeah I think he'll have a, a quite a big part as well he um, gives us something different um, very direct very like gets in behind well um, makes some good runs and, and he's got a good pace about him so that's what we say to him every time you get every time you get near to the box get in the box because then he can't touch you and exactly what happens today so yeah we've spoken about it before but we saw the green hall Corley link up again it almost worked instantly is it something you're really looking forward to this season just seeing them to uh, blossom together like they did when they was at concord yeah it's a bit of a shame that obviously we haven't had enough time in the pre-season just because of holidays and stuff like that um, but you can already tell that, that the wavelength's the same even with Robbo as well I think they, they, they all work well together um, and I'm sure the more they play together the more you'll see and as we go through pre-season now just one game left obviously on Saturday so a quick turnaround um, people are starting to recognise an identity that you've installed in the team playing out from the back keeping the ball and trying to work forward patiently is that something you and Ben and Elliot are all working on in training and starting to bear fruit of that now? Yeah and I think today also shows that we need to work on it a bit more um, the good thing is next week we've got two training sessions to sort of get it, get it now down um, you see good patterns of play and, and people are listening out there which is good and so, some of the link up play is what we've been working on so I think as a whole um, it, it, it's working Just finally Reese, it's less than 48 hours now till we play yeah. Sheppey it's a real quick turnaround um, but it is the, the final pre-season friendly so fans coming along Saturday will they expect to sort of see your proposed starting 11 for that game against Whitehawk in just over a week's time I think we're going to go into the game as in it was the first league game of the season I think you have to um, you have to get into that mentality straight away so if we go into Saturday's game that's what the mentality we've got to have is there's three points on the line um, and I'm sure the boys will, will, will have the same feel about them um, but yeah like, it, it, like the last pre-season of the game you, you want to look at who you'd be sort of starting um, and then we go from there that's brilliant. Thanks for your time this evening. Thank you.